I was here to talk to the heads about the global education crisis, about 260 million children who don't get the chance to go to school at all, and also to challenge them for what we can do about it. I know they've got really busy jobs already, but our global youth ambassadors at Their World have been campaigning around the world, sending out the message to world leaders for how we can unlock education to them, unlock the political will, unlock the financing. And what we know is the more young voices, the better. So I've been talking to them about how they can use our school pack resources, use it for the essay writing, use it for inspiring their young people in what they're going to study, but also how they might join the campaign too, to let me learn. Global education, I'm cautiously optimistic, as politicians always say, which is there's a moment now where there's a fund Education Cannot Wait, which will fund education and humanitarian crisis. And also there's the new IFID, which is the new innovative financing uh, mechanism that exists. So the political leaders know they've got a way to come behind education and start to unlock the big funds that are needed. But what we need is to make sure that everyone's got a plan for where they want it to go, how they want it to happen, and to keep up the pressure so it doesn't stall. As soon as they've got a moment and caught up with themselves, they can log on to theirworld.org forward slash schools and they'll find all our school resources there and all the information about our Global Youth Ambassadors too.